Welcome to this video where I will give you an overview over different types of guitars if you are a beginner or maybe your kid is beginning to play a guitar to find a fun way to yeah do it. So it starts with actually your body size. So if you are already an adult you can of course play the big guitars but if you are in the youth or a small child, then it's not working to touch the upper string, for example. So if the hand is too small, it's difficult to reach to the top if you have a normal sized guitar. And so uh, for the youth, this is a three quarter guitar. Um, so compared to the big guitar, you see it's a bit shorter and a bit smaller, which just helps also the arm to get the good position. So um, consider a three-quarter if you're not yet a full-blown adult, but already feel I really want to play the guitar. Otherwise, there is lovely ukuleles to play, especially if you're a small kid, small child. And then it depends. So. The very smallest is called Sopran Ukulele, Soprano, and this is a tenor. I hope I pronounced that correct. So, um, the smallest one and the largest or second largest ukulele. Um, there is a concert ukulele as well, which actually has the four um, strings tuned as a guitar. So concert ukulele maybe for you if you feel like you want to go later to the guitar. If you feel like a ukulele just has a very happy vibe and it's so much fun to play this, this is for you. So the tenor ukulele has a bit of a wider body as the smallest one, sounds a bit richer, sounds a bit fuller, can recommend it, a lot of fun to play. Good for trials, good for adults as well. And there's even now a chance to print these 3D. Um, it bends a bit. I mean, you can adjust that with different parts to get a better angle and stabilize it with metal, blah. If you just want a quick play and have fun, buy one from the shelf. That's another video, just saying it's possible if you have one enjoy but it's tricky to get it right in details another option which also was my way into the guitar world is playing bass i actually had a ukulele bass it had similar size like this but much thicker strings i will uh, link the video where i play that it's already at a friend this model, uh, maybe you see it here linked also, but um, it then also has just four strings, but playing bass is, I think, pretty cool. And it's the same tuning as the guitar as well. So the thickest string on the bass is E, it's, uh, it's the same as on the guitar. And so um, you learn pretty similar things uh, how to play with the right hand, how to grab with the left hand, with the frets and everything. So um, this one is a five string bass, the regular normal ones has just four, which is just way more simpler. And so I think this is a bit of an underrated instrument, especially for beginners. So a lot have like in mind, I like the guitar and let's play guitar straight. But for me and I can just so much recommend it. Playing bass is so good for getting used to all this. So getting used to use the right hand, getting used to the left hand, getting used to tuning it and everything, it's just easier. And then later I got into guitar playing as well and that was fun and it's, it's the combination of both. I just really like it. So I would recommend that and at least trying it and if your goal is maybe to play in the band, there is 
often a lack of bassists where you can maybe fit in very soon and then maybe later get a guitar position or whatever. So warm recommendation for the bass. Then uh, just let me tell you if you directly go to an instrument with thin metal strings such as the electric guitar or the western guitar it's really hard so they are sharp and if your hands are not used to it and if you are too fast you can hurt yourself with the fingertips so um, it's a lot of also force needed to push those um, strings down especially if you have a bad setup I will talk about that in the next part of this series so that's a whole another topic but first the different guitar types if you are an adult or youth uh, aged it's fine to go to the big guitar already maybe but your fingers need time to get used to pressing things down and especially the upper strings are very thin if they are on metal on those instruments. So I would like to say, in my opinion, please have this for a bit later, because I think for me at least, it's not fun to start on those thin metal strings. I hope this gave you a bit of an overview. And my goal is just to give you a good experience in learning such an instrument. Maybe keyboard or drums is more the instrument for you, and that's fine as well. But I just so much enjoy for myself playing whatever instrument, so I play now all of those keyboard, drums, drums 30 years, uh, string instrument 4 years, piano as well 4 years. And it's such an amazing journey, it's so much fun learning on also like learning how to learn and this has helping me in so many other different areas then if you can play a bit connecting with others chatting about that stuff playing together and um it's not for me like focusing and aiming for i have to be the best it's for music especially i feel like being ourselves is so much more to be appreciated especially these days so give it to AI and make it perfect whatever that means song later or now whatever but have it your way and just spending time for yourself doing something with the hands you have done nice music eventually and I just wish that for so many of you and so to have a good start I hope this gives you a good overview and what to look out for buying a good guitar in the beginning or used or whatever. Uh, there will be the second video in this series. And see you there maybe. Hope you enjoyed. Like to see comments from you, how this helps you or if you have questions and all the best to you.